Yeah, I can get that drink for you. What was it that you wanted again? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, of course. That won't be a problem. Do you mind just giving me one moment? I'll be right with you with that drink, okay? Thank you so much. Hey, sweetie. You're a new face. Well, you see, everyone that comes to this bar is a local, and I never forget a face, so you're either new here or you're incredibly lost. Okay. Well, is there anything I can get for you? Not sure. Well, I do happen to have a drink menu right here. And maybe it can help you make up your mind. And of course, I can make you pretty much any drink that you want. This is just a list of suggested bar cocktails and our wine menu and beer menu. So, why don't you take a look at that? And I'm just gonna fix this gentleman up a drink real quick and then I can help you, okay? Do you want a water while you wait? Yeah? Okay. Do you care if it's tap water or bottled? Bottled. And do you want ice or no ice? No ice? Okay. And I'll just leave the bottle here with you in case you want any more, okay? Okay. So, go ahead and take a look at that menu, and I'll be with you in one moment, okay? Okay. Okay, sir. What was that drink one more time? Do you want that with vodka or gin? Vodka. Okay. Do you care what brand of vodka? No. Okay, I got you.
And do you like that drink sweet? Extra sweet? Not a problem. How long have I been bartending? Far too long, if you ask me. But it has its perks. And I'm just gonna shake that up real quick. And we're just gonna pop that seal. Almost done, one second, okay. And we're just gonna strain that. Okay. And Add a little seltzer water. We're just going to garnish with a mint leaf. And here you go, sir. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for being patient. I appreciate it. So, did you get a chance to take a look at that drink menu? You know what you want. Yeah. It can be hard to decide. There's so many choices out there. So many they're not even all on the menu. But that's not a problem. You'd like me to pick? Oh geez, that's some pressure. <laughs> well, my favorite drink is just shots, so that's not what I recommend. I guess my recommendation is solely going to lie on how bad your day was. How do I know you're having a bad day? Well, never seen you in here before, and that look on your face kind of says it all. Yes, yeah, sweetie, I've been a bartender for years now, and I can tell when someone's been having a bad day. It's okay, though. We don't have to talk about it. But how about from a scale of good... Okay, bad, worse. You tell me how you're feeling so I know what kind of drink to make you. 
Ooh. Not that bad, huh? Breaking my scale. Well, don't worry. I got just the thing. a long time ago, but that was another time. It's a good thing you came in when you did. The weather's looking like it's getting worse, so maybe sitting in here it'll stop by the time you leave. Yeah. Though it's supposed to be worse tomorrow. Okay. So, I'm making it old fashioned. Ever have one? No? It's basically whiskey with some bitters and simple syrup. Pretty good. And it's definitely hard enough for the kind of day that you've been having, so. Still tastes good, but just enough kick to get you through what you've been going through. Okay. So. And actually, you know what's better than simple syrup? Between you and me, some maple syrup. But don't tell anyone, that's my secret, okay? I'll put a little maple syrup in there for you. So good. Okay. I'm just gonna add a dash of some bitters. Big ol' ice cube in there. garnish and it gives it some flavor, so. Mm. 
just going to muddle some of that in there. And one for some garnish. Mm, fresh orange smells so good. Okay. And another little secret. If you burn the orange peel a little bit before, it helps get more of those oils out there. So. Just going to burn that a bit. Give it a twist. And around the rim. Okay. There you go. Let me know what you think. Yeah, it is strong, but it's good, huh? Thought you'd like it. So, do you want to talk about it? Well, I know that sometimes it helps to talk to an outside person, someone who can give you their input who's not involved, but we don't have to talk about it, or we can just take our time. I'm here all night, not in a hurry. Yeah, I've been bartending for a few years now. It's not what I originally saw myself doing, but it's been really rewarding. Getting to meet new people and learn more about them. Yeah, it's been a fun job. What did I do beforehand? Well, I did, I did go to college for a little bit and after like my first few semesters, I dropped out and couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do. I thought I wanted to do like a music thing, like music recording technology, but it just didn't feel right in the moment. So I ended up dropping out, kind of fell in with the wrong crowd, got an older boyfriend and kind of got stuck in a rut for a while. Fell into some things that I'm not too proud of, but like I always tell everyone, and I tell myself, in my opinion, everything happens for a reason. And I know not everyone agrees with that theory, but here, here's why I agree with it. Even if you don't think it's happening for a reason or in the moment, you can't see what that reason is or, you know, it's a bad, it's, you're going through something bad and you can't imagine why that would be happening. I've been through the worst of it and came out and all of it, every single last one of them, made me who I am today and put me where I am today. Kind of like the butterfly effect, you know? Have you ever heard of that? Like, they say that the flap of a butterfly's wings can cause a hurricane somewhere else, like a chain reaction. One small thing can spur on a cataclysmic event. <laughs> like one thing just leads into another thing, leads into another thing, and if that one thing would have never have happened, that big reaction would have never have happened, or that chain of events would have never have happened. So, if I wouldn't have dropped out of college, I wouldn't have fallen in with the wrong crowd. And if I wouldn't have fallen in with the wrong crowd, I wouldn't have done the things that I did that 
have made me who I am today, who have shaped me into the person I am today. And after I finally got myself out of that crowd, I attended a college that I never would have attended. I would have never have thought to even going to this school if it wasn't for all of me dropping out and meeting those people. And because of going to this college, I got my first uh, IT job and so on and so forth. That's where I met my best friends. That's where I met my boyfriend at the time. That's all of that from me dropping out of the first semester and falling in with that group of friends. So I feel like everything happens to get you to where you are today. So, but enough about my silly theories. Are you still enjoying that drink? Yeah? Okay, good. You're hungry? Well, I do keep bowls of peanuts around here. Do you want some? pretty tough. Can't say I blame you. I would have came to the bar as well. What am I drinking? Well, I'm not really supposed to drink on the job, but seeing as we're closing in a minute, I guess I could have something. Though my go-to at the end of the night is typically sake, so yeah. Just like warm sake. I keep some warm over here, so I'll grab some. Do you want to try some? Yeah. love this set. The owner of the bar got it for me actually. It's like an anniversary gift for working here. It's got cute little cherry blossoms on it. <laughs> okay. Personally, I like it best served warm. So that's how we're going to drink it. Here you go. Okay. Cheers. It's good, isn't it? Tastes a little strong, but it's smooth and I really enjoy it. Yeah, personally, I'm not one for mixed drinks. If I'm going to drink alcohol, I want to taste it. Yeah, probably why I'm working in a bar. Well, I kind of just fell into this. It's more of a night gig. And I'm in IT by day, so... Yep, work on computers by day. Bartender by night. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Oh, I see. Yeah, you're just having a heck of a day, aren't you? Okay. Well. I say, I try not to focus on the little things. I'm not saying that your issue is little, but we all go through stuff. You know, every person has their own issues, their own day-to-day -day struggles. And we all go through our own 
day-to-day -day struggles, but a wise bartender once told me that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And I just love that quote. No matter what issue you're going through, big or small, you know, it may feel bad or absolutely terrible in the moment or stressful, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel and you will get through it, even if it doesn't feel like it in the moment. So just know nothing lasts forever. And once you get past that hurdle and it's behind you, it's going to help make you who you are today. And, you know, it's just best to try to not focus on it too much and remind yourself of everything you have going for you. Or what I like to do is distract myself with things I enjoy. If I'm feeling depressed or anxious or stressed, I'll do like my favorite hobby or I'll go outside and go for a hike or a bike ride. Just something to distract myself, to get my mind off of it. It's always good to focus on yourself. People, I feel like, are too afraid to focus on themselves. Like they will, Everyone cares about everyone and that's really good. You should. You need to care about other people and their feelings, but just make sure you focus on yourself too. Mental health is really important, so it's good to make sure that you're doing something for yourself once in a while, whether it's going for a bike ride or doing your favorite hobby, but do something that you enjoy. It really helps. Yeah. Or, you know, you could just come hang out at this bar with me. <laughs> I'm always here to talk. Yeah, don't worry. We don't have to get too much into it. But if you ever want to talk about it, I'm always here. All right. Anything else I can get you? Okay. Well, I'll let you finish that drink and then I'll start cleaning up. Great.